In this video, we'll learn to multiply simple fractions. Now, multiplying simple fractions is a very easy operation. So, if I have half times half, it's a case of multiplying the two numerators, the two numbers at the top. One times one gives us one. Multiplying the two numbers at the bottom, the denominators. So, two times two gives us four. So it's always a case of just multiplying top numbers and multiplying bottom numbers. So 7 thirds times 2 eighths, that would be 14, and that's then 24. So it's a straightforward process, but what does that mean? If you've watched the video when I multiply decimals, you'll probably recall something like this. So 4 times 1 gives us the number itself. So when you multiply a number by 1, it gives us the number itself. In this case, 4 times 1 gives us 4. If I multiply 4 by 2, it gives me 8. So I've doubled the 4. If I multiply 4 by half, as a decimal that would be 0 0.5, then the answer will be 2. Same thing here, if I multiply 4 by half as a fraction, it's going to give me 2. And what this means is that we actually, when we multiply a number by a fraction, it means we're getting a fraction of that number. So what is that going to look like? In this particular case, half times half is the same as saying half off half. So if I represent half here, that'll be half of the half. So that means only one of them parts. So that is a quarter. And that's what we have here as the answer. If I want to work out half of a quarter now, because I've got a quarter here and I want to work out half of a quarter, again, I'm going to split this in half so I'm taking only this part, but now that is a much smaller slice. So I'm going to cut the whole thing into the same size of slice. So that is now one out of eight, isn't it? So one times one gives us one, two times four gives us eight. So, if I want to work out half of a third, I know the answer is going to be one sixth, because one times one is one, and two times three is six. But what does that mean practically? So, let's use the chocolate bar scenario so i'm going to split this into thirds so here it is a third i'm taking half of the third so that's half of this but these are much smaller slices now so i want to say I've got one out of how many in total? So for that reason, I need to cut these other thirds into halves as well. So now that is one out of the six, because fractions are always split into equal slices. Fractions always represent equal slices. If you haven't got equal slices, you haven't got a fraction. 
Let's just try a couple more examples. So four fifths times two thirds. So four times two is eight. Five times three is 15. Let's do four sevenths times eight six. So four times eight is 32 and seven times six is 42. Let's finally do one six times three fifths. One times three is three, six times five is 30. Now some of these you can simplify further, but I'm not gonna stop at that now because there will be another video about that.